hi friends welcome to my cooking channel so today as promised i am going to show you how to make the smoky chutney which i served earlier with my parval sham kebab so to make this chutney you need four medium sized tomatoes you need two green chilies then you need two cloves of garlic and then you need about half teaspoon of uh, black salt and you need one tablespoon of sugar so these are the ingredients very basic ingredients we need to make this chutney and you can see here i have already burned the two tomatoes and i am going to burn rest of them and i will show you the technique of how to burn these tomatoes on gas stove so here the main thing is technique so let's see how to do that so friends first i have taken a jelly which we normally use to make our indian flat bread or roti so over that jelly i have kept one tomato and i will make sure that this tomato is burnt from all the sides and for that i will have to keep the flame on high so now let's burn them so here you can see this side is almost burnt this tomato will burn totally from all the sides that is only its peel its outer layer will be burnt so we will remove that latter but uh, the inner juicy pulp will be intact and we will have the smoky uh, aroma of the burnt peel incorporated in the juicy pulp which is uh, inner side which is in the which is covered with the peel so we will uh, remove the peel latter so don't worry about that but make sure that you don't over burn or you don't under burn this tomato so this is the main thing we need to do let's see how to do, do that uh, you will see basically the outer layer will be shrinked and the tomato will be dehydrated a bit also see here it's almost done now my tomato is nicely burnt it's dehydrated a bit and the skin is burnt so i'll keep that uh, for peeling later and now i am holding a green chili with a tongue and likewise i am uh, trying to burn the outer layer only the outer layer of the green chili again one more chili i'll burn like that so be careful it uh, just sometimes it just becomes a bit dangerous so safety first friends when you cook so keep that in mind and now i burnt both the green chilies now oops sorry so now is the time for burning the cloves cloves of garlic as well so make sure you gently uh, hold the garlic clove with the tongue it can be a little bit of difficult but you can do it i am sure about that and likewise i am going to burn the outer skin of the garlic not much of that again i am taking one more clove of garlic so basically we are actually incorporating the smoky aroma of this uh, tomato green chili and garlic and they will be the main ingredient of our chutney and it will be so much delicious because of this technique which is very very simple to do so now our, all the things are burnt nicely so the next thing we will actually do is here you can see they have shrinked a bit and uh, the outer layer is burnt completely so now as i said earlier we will remove the uh, burnt peel we don't want to take this because this is basically uh, carbon you can see here and uh, we don't want this in our chutney so we will remove this and it's very very easy to remove as the peels are already burnt and you can see here as i t told you that uh, the inner pulp is almost intact so now we will the next tomato i think i am left with only one see here nice juicy layer and now what we are going to do is we are going to blend all of them 
yes you can see here we have blended all the ingredients including sugar and black salt tomato green chili and garlic and now our chutney is ready so that's it we don't need much foods about it our chutney is ready in just uh, seven minutes and most uh, time i take is for burning the ingredients so friends here you can see it is nice thick consistency of the chutney it's very smooth and it's so delicious the aroma is just mind blowing and uh, as you can see here i am serving it with some purval shami kebabs uh, you can serve it with uh, momo or paratha or bread or pav bhaji or cutlet or kebabs anything anything that catches your fancy and it's very very easy to make so friends please make them and if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give a thumbs up because this means a lot to me so i'll hope you will come again to see the more delicious recipes thank you so much for watching see you soon in the next video